welcome back to Days Well Spent. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a My Soil soil test kit. Let me start by saying this is not a paid video. They did not send us the kit for a review or anything else. Um, this is a soil test kit that I've used in the past. We even used it last year. The results were very easy to use. It was a very quick um, professional turnaround time. Um, so I decided to go with them for the new property. So I, I bought a four pack, even though I've only got three samples, I can use this one later. Since I'm testing different areas, I'm keeping everything together. First thing you're gonna do when you get your kit is there is going to be, you're gonna open it up, there's gonna be a registration information. You're gonna go online, register your kit. So what I'm doing is keeping each bag of soil with each kit so that when I register it, I can name it what area it came from and make sure that I don't get anything mixed up. I'm also, there's a number under here. I'm gonna take that number and label each of our bags as I register them. So I've registered my kit, show you what else is in here. So it comes with a prepaid envelope, jar of liquid, and a scoop. You also have the instructions here. So you're gonna register online, add the soil, melt the kit, get results, and amend your soil. So one of the things that they talk about doing, depending on how you wanna do your soil samples, is you can take samples from various areas. Um, you wanna go down about six inches and place them in the box, mix it together, and then scoop it out. You wanna break up any chunks. So we're going to open our sample. You do not want to remove the contents. You're just going to add your soil. And the instructions do say to break up your soil. You don't want any big, big chunks when you're sending it off. Reach in, scoop it out. Got a nice level scoop here. Place it into the water. Seal it up. And the, um, the jar has the label on it that matches the um, label that was on your certificate. And when you register it, so when I registered this um, kit, I put in the number and I also put in a description. So I put in the description garden area for this sample. So that's gonna make it easy to keep everything sort it out, make sure I don't get my samples mixed up. So you're gonna take your sample, place it in the postage paid envelope, seal up the envelope, drop it off in, at the post office, and in about six to eight days, you'll get an email that has all of the information so you can log in and see what's in your soil. It's been right at a week since we sent our sample in. We got our email showing that our sample was ready. You're gonna log into your account. I'm already logged in just to save a little bit of time. And I'll just show you on one of the samples. Here's the garden area. These are listed by date. This was last year's sample. The area that you see where it says garden, orchard, or flower garden, that was the description that I entered based on where the sample came from. And you log in on the left side, you have a nice graph that you can use along with the recommendations, whether you're going organic or synthetic for your fertilizer. And when you click these links, it will take you to a shop where you can purchase your fertilizer. Then here on the right side is all of your raw data. We have our pH is optimal and it showed optimal and the pH was very close in each of the areas that we sampled and all three areas were high in calcium all three areas the sodium content was a little bit different in each area but it was all within the optimal range and unfortunately all of our samples were low in everything else now this was a little bit discouraging but we also knew that nobody had lived on this property in over six years nothing had been done to the soil and it had not previously been gardened so we know that we're going to be adding some organic fertilizers, a whole lot of compost, and at this point we now know what area, it's actually everything but calcium, that we need to amend, calcium and sodium. So 
We'll be moving forward with amending our soil. Once we get all of that purchased and decide what we're gonna use, we'll let you guys know. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And we'd love it if you'd visit us over at dayswellspent.com.